Our whole premise is image search is the fastest growing consumer search category on the web today. We know that for a fact. It's 10% of Google's traffic. It grows 100% year over year. Video search is rapidly approaching that, but actually not growing as fast as image search. We've combined the two into what we call pixie media search. And our entire business is putting everybody else in the image and video search business. We said to ourselves, if image and video search are so wildly popular, you know, why doesn't every site have it? And why isn't that content completely targeted to that site? So here we are with Pure Video. Um, Pure Video is a pretty popular entertainment destination on the web. We power uh, um, a significant portion of their video and image search experience. User comes in, types in Entourage, for example, looking for some interesting clips of, uh, of the Entourage HBO successful series. Uh, and then here up comes all the kind of the latest uh, video and in some cases image clips as well from that show. Well, the way we look at image and video search together, we've actually viewed them as the same thing. We view them as thumbnails. They're all the same to us. They're all thumbnails. And that is a unique differentiator of our business. What that means is thumbnails are fair use. And there was actually a recent ruling three weeks ago uh, called Perfect 10 versus Google, which a lot of people can now look up. It got a lot of press. It basically ruled that thumbnails are indeed fair use. Uh, and without, be, without them being fair use, you couldn't have the search engine business, right? You couldn't have snippets of content. And that's really what they are. So we said, you know, let's be the Google of thumbnails. Let's aggregate the world's or the web's image and video thumbnails, organize them, slice and dice them, and then give every other site access to that. Basically, enabling anybody to kind of get in the image and video thumbnail search business overnight. The web is becoming visual. And so, you know, 10 years ago, the web was all text. And as you probably know, the, the web is rapidly becoming an entirely visual medium. So thumbnails communicate a lot more, and they're more entertaining as well, because you get a feel for, you know, what this piece of content's about, what this video is about, et cetera. But they do one thing really well. Thumbnails generate clicks. That's what they do. And so our model is we're building an ad network around the concept of image and video search as the tool to get that inventory on other websites. Someone goes to info, they click on video, and they type in Mel Gibson. We're the video search engine behind uh, info.com. You can see in the corner, kind of powered by Pixie. So here I typed in uh, Mel Gibson. You've got all the latest Mel Gibson content. What's unique about the business model versus some other players who are now kind of moving into distribution is that we are customizing both image and video search verticals for any site that, they, that wants to have image and video search. So it can be completely customized to that site, whatever content that they want. We will actually go out and get content for them. So we can have sites come to us say, hey, go crawl these 500 websites and get me all the great image and video content on those sites and build me a search engine out of that. We will go do that as well. And then here's another interesting partnership uh, with a company uh, called Media River uh, that we recently announced. We're working with them on this contextual image and video ad unit, if you will. Uh, so here this page is uh, tff.com. Uh, this article is about Serena Williams and tennis. Uh, and now you've got this really kind of cool uh, related image and video content powered by us utilizing the Media River technology, which is pretty cool.